Give me that! Bam! What up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So today, we're gonna start wrapping the GTR. Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Let me ask you guys something. Are you guys fans of Metallica? My man, f***ing Trevor right here, he's a fan of Metallica. I love Metallica. If you have a favorite Metallica song, what is it? One. Cut to one, just for one second. Play a little clip of that drum bass. Hey, now, hold my breath is because that's how hype we're gonna be today. We're gonna be rapping the GTR. Let's get in there. Let's get in the rap room. Let's start knocking this thing out. Go Let's get over to Johnny. Our boy. Ow, oh, did you hit yourself in your nuts right now? I think I got that on camera. Uh, I bagged myself. It wasn't enough to hurt, but I was like, oh, shit, I hurt myself. Back right. over to Johnny. You know what? Daniel seems to mess up these intros that I tell him, look at this is what's going on. And then he wants to go hop on. Be if you crazy, guys think that I messed it up, let. Him know that I didn't mess it up. I don't think I messed it up. No one's gonna tell him he messed up because he's the owner. No one says anything to him, he's the owner. But I know the truth, guys. Anyways, we're gonna get over to Johnny. He's gonna start rapping the bumpers, so we need to stop messing around and get to rapping the GTR because that's what you guys clicked here for, right? Because you wanna see GTR rap. I gotta carry him. What's up, guys? So we're about to lay the first part of this bumper. Uh, we already have it off, so why waste any time? We got the material in. Mitchie's still over there taking off the rear bumper and getting that whole rear end of the car taken care of. So while he's doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and start rapping. bumper cover twin turbo wrapped right now it needs to be unwrapped the paint under it's garbage mm -hmm. so it's gonna have to get painted or wrapped body is straight I don't like that bumper at all one big problem smoker only. and the guy's a legit chain smoker smokes in the car so he said that it smells like a fucking ashtray so what do I need to do to get rid of that smoke smell you gotta remove all of the interior okay. everything start over and get fresh interior or get cleaned? You have to get, no, you can't clean it. You have to get everything stripped and new interior. Okay. And that's like dash, everything. Wow. Everything's so set up. Got it. will not you uh, update them a little bit? What we're talking about here. Wait, wait, wait. I guess that's, what, that's the only sneak peek I'll give because you can tell what that is, right? So I've been looking at a Super for a long time, a long while. And I seen one of my buddies buy a super recently and I'm just like, fuck it, I gotta do it. And when I do it, I wanna make sure I do it better. So a little competition, but I'm gonna make it tight. So we're gonna make sure that we get the dope car, the right platform. I'm not looking for the gem because I don't wanna destroy a gem. Say we do get a Supra. I don't wanna get one of these ones that's just perfect and ruin it by doing, modifying it, bagging it, wheels, whatever we end up doing. If you find a gem, you keep it a gem. This one's gonna need paint, I'm gonna have to repaint it. Sounds like the interior is pretty bad, I'm gonna have to redo the interior. But it just gives us a platform to start modifying here on the channel, so we're trying to get a Supra, build it up, do it right. How's it going over here, Mitchie? Good. So this happens sometimes. They're in here, they're in the zone. We got Mitchie over here. We have Daniel over there doing a photo shoot for Throttle. Shout out to Throttle, sending us some free gear. And shout out to New Tokyo also for hooking up some sick ass swag. They don't want to be on the camera too much. So it's one of those things where as a filmer, it stresses me out because I feel like I'm not going to have enough talking content because I know we have no, more than enough B-roll content on it. At the same time, I have to respect that at premium, work gets done all the time, and sometimes they don't want to be on camera. So I'm letting Mitchie be, 
Maybe we get something from Johnny over here. Those legit right there is twin the turbos. Twin turbo one, turbo one, turbo two. Why are they and so it small funnels the, uh, the gas through here, kind of pushes it through and shoots it out of the turbo. Surprisingly pretty clean down there because usually on these GTRs for sure, a lot of fuel comes in when they, they spool, they go really fast. They shoot around and they shoot the fuel out right here on this thing. It's called a fuel block plate. So the fuel block plate was probably replaced at some point. I don't know. Um, most GTR owners, they got money, so they, they, re they repair the fuel block off plate. But I'm really surprised at the turbos too because the uh, intercooler that's right here. Did you see that? That's a oil cooler. No, no what? What? Come on, Cannon. What? You don't know what you're talking Cannon, about. Cannon, do you not know about cars? cars? You're good looking, so you don't have to be smart. Put on here, Johnny. Laying this bumper. Squeeze oh, boy. <laughs> I'm taught you well. Look what Although you I, did, Mitch. I don't know if I want to make Heavy proud or if I want to make Mitch proud. How will you not worry about me or Mitch? You worry about the YouTube channel. John, is there anything hard about this bumper? Yeah, dude, there's actually a very hard part about this bumper is the fact that not only does it go on the corner like that, but it also has that top part, which is basically like matches up with look the top. Look at me, look at me when you're talking to me. Basically like the top fender, <laughs> or the top quarter panel just matches up. So it's just kind of difficult to get everything up and around without getting any glue lines or stretching or anything like that. Huh. That's good to know for someone that's never wrapped a bumper like me. Thank you. Yeah, I've seen your wraps before. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm wrap over. Vibe. You did me dirty, bro. 643. We got a quarter panel to lay. We got a trunk to lay. Rear bumper's already just about done. Front bumper's been done. So I'd say we're about to kill off the whole GTR in one day. Uh, so one day for disassembly, one day for wrap, and the third day we'll be putting it back together. And don't ask me this. Daniel, why do you ask us for two weeks when we wrap cars? Usually we're stacking cars and we're doing multiple vehicles at one time. So it does take time to get these things done. When we're able to just get them in and knock them out, which now that Mitch is really running the calendar, he's dialed it into where cars are coming in and out, in and out. I'm really bad. I stack things, I get everybody in, I say yes to everybody. And that's always been my problem. So Mitch has kind of really put his foot down and said, look, that's the way we're gonna do it. So shout out to Mitch. I mean, honestly, the reason why this is gonna happen that way is because our schedule is actually dialed properly. And within three to four days, GTR will roll in, get wrapped, go out with 100% quality. And we have a happy customer picking up on Friday. So I'm pumped on that. Yo, why are your corners so perfect? Just gotta brag about it. Just look, just look, look. What's up, what's up? Come on, CJ. So one of the things that we've noticed with the GTRs time and time again, because we've wrapped a lot of these things with the body panels being tight the way they are right here, is a lot of bumper or the bumpers actually shake kind of a little bit back and forth, a little bit of movement, which vibrates the material out of place. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna apply some primer, which we usually don't use or we try to not use as much as possible. In this case, we're gonna apply some primer right in this area. It's gonna help bond it a little bit better and allow it to take that beating that it's gonna take. Uh, it doesn't always correct the issue. What we've seen is a lot of the GTRs have to come back to have the quarter pounder wrap because it does vibrate a little bit and it kind of just sucks. But it's something that we've learned and 
the only way that we know how to counter that right now is to apply a little bit of primer and make sure that we have good maximum bond right here. And then also we'll bring the material way further than we need to. You know, technically we only need to go to about right here. So if you look right here, we only need to go to about right here to cover everything. But what I'm gonna do when I actually lay this is I'm gonna bring it all the way around just so it has maximum, maximum hold and uh, try to eliminate that from happening as much as possible. So you guys notice what we did there is we started at the bend. A lot of times people will glass the panel and they'll push this in right here. Uh, with 3M vinyl, you want to be very, very, very careful not to leave any adhesive lines. So the whole time we're laying this material, we're literally just sitting everything into the bends. So we did start here. We haven't used any heat. We're probably not going to have to use any heat. We sat it in place and we're just going to work our way up and we're going to work our way down. And that's going to eliminate the chance of any of the adhesive lines. A lot of people ask us about adhesive lines in 3M material. It is a common thing. Uh, if you're laying the material improperly, uh, it's a it's a learning thing. So all materials have different ways of laying. 3M definitely has its own unique way of doing things. We always try to stay away from heating as much as possible. You'll usually see us at corners and bends when we need to heat it. But in a place like this, typically people what they do is they'll glass it, they'll kind of bridge this, and they'll push it in. And you can do that with Avery. 3M cannot do that. I overcut that all the way around. I left about, I don't know, what is that? I don't know how to measure. It's just enough is what I left. So I'm gonna lift the seal right at the corner and then using this pick tool, you gotta be careful because if this pulls out, you can scratch the car, you can scratch the wrap. There's a lot of things that this can do. So if you're not ready for it, don't use it. Uh, but basically I'm gonna get under here, a little bit of pressure. I'm just hold up this and I'm gonna move my material in place. I'm keep that going all the way through. And just like that, sun goes down, sun comes up. It's a new day. We actually have some guests in the shop, so I want to turn the camera real quick before they get to work on the GTR. How's it going, guys? What's up? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're gonna be on the vlog. <laughs> Where'd you guys come from? Chicago. Uh, Chicago. All right, how was, yeah. how, how was the trip? Or how was the trip going? Uh, really it was really good. good. Yeah. Don't you dare. <laughs> I, got to I get nervous too, okay? <laughs> We got about like one million people watching you guys. Oh. What's up guys? <laughs> you guys should make it down here at Riverside. Yeah. It's a nice beautiful drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like this guy. Thank yeah. you guys. <laughs> well since it's the intro of the second day, what's up bud? What's up? <laughs> I don't want to do this now. Yeah, you gotta no, do, you do this. Come on, you there nervous? Hey. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you. you. So Have a good so one. Have a good vacation. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Mitch, you're getting loved. <laughs> what's going on bud? You saw so stage right today. Hi, dude. <laughs> what happened? What I miss? Um, she was trying to leave and was waving to Johnny, but he awkwardly reached his hand up to say bye when he was 30 feet away. So then he had to awkwardly walk it all the way in for the handshake there. So. <laughs> Hey, nothing's worse than when I touch the freaking fans' boobs, so. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was embarrassing. You did that? I went for a handshake and hey, I got full boobs. Hey, what's up, YouTube fan? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
What's up, guys? Today we okay, finished ahead, the GTR. It. it was fun. Come on, Mitch. Hype, bro. Hype. Wake up, Johnny. Wake up. We've been awake. Bam. <laughs> Did you see that? You look too scared of me, bro. You should have seen God. your face. I know, dude. Everybody in this vlog, this vlog is like, Daniel, you're a crackhead. It's a new day. So, obviously, the GTR is not put back together. I told you guys it was going to be done. Uh, it's not. So, the nature of our business and what we do, there's a lot of things that come in unexpectedly and uh, issues that arise and customers come in from out of town or whatever it is. And we spend time on that, which puts the project a little bit behind. But nevertheless, we're still on time with our deadline. We told the customer that the car would be ready on Monday. So, we had a little bit of a cushion period. Although I wanted it done today, it's not. So, customer, thank you. You'll have your car on Monday. The guys are gonna spend the weekend putting it back together. And you will get cinematics as soon as it's done. When will those come out? Uh, be Monday's video. Monday's video, you'll see what the looks like. And you got here. the cinematics. The yeah, so Andy's gonna shoot the cinematics of this once it's all put back together. We got a Tesla coming in. There's so many projects that are gonna be filmed and put up on YouTube in the next probably two weeks here. It's gonna be crazy. So, tons of content coming. Content overload, Hefe. Yes, no? Yeah, I'm going on vacation this weekend. What? So I'll come back with me. Wait, 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 I'll wait. come back level headed. Where are you going? Uh, it's my girlfriend's birthday today. Actually, literally today we're filming the outro on a Friday. Happy okay. Friday to you guys. That's my girlfriend's birthday. Happy, bir happy, happy birthday to my girlfriend. And uh, we're, going, we're going to see My girlfriend, you mean boyfriend? Shut up. We might as well tell no one, bro. <laughs> anyway. It's going to change everything how they look at me now. Oh, they call me shit. El Jefina. So. I, it's, it's it's my birthday today, obviously, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't know, why are you on the camera like that? If you guys didn't know, Daniel actually is my lady friend. It's his birthday. <laughs> you guys make a cute though. I'm holding me in my arm. <laughs> Listen, guys. We love you guys. See you guys in the next vlog.